Hey, how's it going? In this video, I'm going to show you how to automate feed hive using their new triggers. The idea behind this is you can write your content somewhere else and post it to feed hive to schedule a new draft or schedule it live straight away. So for example, you could write your tweets in notion and every time you add a new tweet, it will then send it to feed hive as a draft. And I'll show you how to set that up. It's really simple. So I've created a new trigger and I've named it and I've selected what will happen when the trigger is triggered. So I'm going to have it create a new draft and you can choose a post template if you want to, but you need to set them up. I'm not going to bother for now. I'm just going to send some tweets over for a test. For the place I'm going to write is going to be Google Sheets. So I'm going to add my tweets into here. And what is controlled in this is make.com. So in make, I've got my Google sheet and it's watching this sheet here for new entries. When a new entry is added into Google Sheets, make will fire up and it will send the tweet to the HTTP request, which will then send it to FeedHive. A lot of moving parts, but it's all quite simple. So Google Sheets is very simple to set up. You just choose the sheet you want. So Sheets to Feed Hive, and that's what is called here. And the table contains headers, otherwise you'll send the header to Feed Hive, which you don't want. And underneath, I've just limited this to two, but I'm just going to up this to five. From here, you need to connect it to an HTTP request. And that looks like this. So you need the URL with the query parameter on the end. If we go back to FeedHive, they kindly show you how it should look. So we've got the api.feedhive.com and then the question mark, and then you need text equals then your text here. So if we go back to make, we've got the URL and then we've got the question mark text equals, and this is the important part. You need the tweets from Google Sheets to be appended after here. So everything you write in tweet A, my examples here, so A and this tweets, so everything I write in these blocks here will get appended to the end. And then we need to do a get request and then that will send it to FeedHive. So if we just test this, I've got GPT to write me some tweets. I have no idea what they're going to say, but we'll just paste them in for now. And we'll do, we'll just do a few for this. Paste these in. One more, that'll be fine. So when I run this scenario, if we go to my drafts in FeedHive, We'll go to posts and then drafts. I've got nothing as you can see. When I run this, move my face. We should have a draft appear. I say should. Yeah, here we go. So if you want to build a successful business, you need to focus on delivering value to your customers. And that one here is this. I think make was set up to look at the newest entries. I deleted some before I made this video. So I'm just going to choose it where to start and I will select all and we'll run it and it should do a bunch of them. Yeah, we go. We've got three, three operations here. And uh, if we go to feed hive again and we refresh, it should be three more now. Here we go. So it's taken all of my tweets from Google sheets, sent them via HTTP request, and then they end up in feed hive. This would be really great if you're like a content manager and you've got a huge kind of board. If you're working in Trello, you could do this. You could trigger from once they move from a draft to a pending to a kind of like, you know, published board on Trello and different stages mean different things. Like, or you could use Notion to set this up or you could use OpenAI to write your tweets, paste them into here for it to, you know, send them to FeedHive. The options are literally endless. If you like this video, drop me a subscribe, um, leave me a comment if you're stuck and don't mind helping you out. Cheers.